welcome back to my channel it's your girl Bridgie how you guys doing thank you very much for joining me today if you haven't subscribed is the red button down there please ensure that you support me by subscribing and if you hit on the bell sign you get a notification whenever I post my videos thank you so much for 30,000 subscription Hooray! it happened in Canada I am so excited it's a landmark right yeah it's a landmark on my on my channel and i'm not going to forget it in a hurry you see why i love canada <laughs> good things are happening to me here you people have to bundle me out of this place i don't have visa i don't know how long i'm i'm supposed to stay, to stay. how long am, am i allowed to stay i don't even up have visa up until six months six months yes. oh, six months is long i'll find work <laughs> oh my god so yeah now to a serious discussion this is very serious this is an update on the saga or the internet story that has been flying around about the disclosure made by Mrs. Dakolo. Let's just call her Dakolo because the team seems to be getting it wrong, Busola yeah. and her name. So it's Mrs. Busola Dakolo who made the disclosure of which you guys know that Mojishola and I did a video about. So there's been more revelation and the first one was the, the protest. Hey, well, we're happy to see the protest or what? Absolutely, absolutely. Pleasantly surprised. That's what, what I would call it. I that was, was I something. Was I woke up on Sunday morning. I was like, ooh, I was so proud. I was so proud. I said, yeah. finally, people are stepping up. Absolutely. And there was protest in Abuja and there was protest in the Lagos church. Yeah. And you know, you, did you see the, 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 not only the police and the people that were protecting the church, some of the church workers locked hands like this, yeah. like really locked hands. I think maybe it's the we'll protocol. Protocols. protocols. Yeah. yeah. Locked hands like this. Mm -hmm. And I felt like the police were harassing. They were doing like a fence so that the protesters don't. We're not go going. I, I didn't think they were violent. It no, was a peaceful pro pro protest. Yeah. yeah. So kudos to all those who came out. I am so so proud of them that finally people are giving voice to this issue because for so long all these people have gone to do whatever they like and they get away with it. The first time it happened in 2013, they swept it under the rug. Yeah. But this time, thank God that people are taking it very seriously. Proud of our people. Proud yeah. of everyone that yeah. came out, those that organized it, those that participated. We are so proud and glad yeah. to see that this is finally happening. Yeah. Even Be in our own country. Yeah, because it's the pressure of this protest and the outcry on social media that led to his stepping down. Yeah. So he issued a statement today saying that, oh, he's taking counsel uh, from his spiritual leaders and he's done this, he's done that. He's oh, spread about it. He's spread about it. Mm, and God told him. It's God that told him to step down. Or oh. oh, the protesters told him. <laughs> the reaction online told him. So, Whatever, at least they No, 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 no. He was pressured to step in down. Yeah. He was pressured. This is not about it anybody telling him. As no, he knew. You see, this is the power of social media. Social media is so powerful. You guys have no idea. You know, he thought that it was going to be business as usual in terms of what happened in 2013. No, he was going to sweep it under the rug. But this time around, people came out for him and said, Did and then he still went to church on Sunday. Yeah. Did you see that video? I, I, at least I read part of some, some of the things that he shared. Yeah. The altar. He was saying that... Uh, that he heard from God. Mm. He has prayed about it. He said God already revealed to him that this was going to happen. Anyway, at least he has stepped down. That's, mm. that's the first step. So take. he stepped down. Yeah, that's very, very good that he stepped down. Stepping down is very, very key because he can't continue to minister or preach to people when there's this serious allegation against you. Amen. What I mean is the decent thing to do, whether you are guilty or not. Or not. In civilized society, it's this is right what people do. do. It's the godly thing to do. It's the decent thing to do. It's just the right thing to do. Yeah. So he stepped down now. We thank God for that. And I feel like this disclosure has really given a lot of Nigerian women voice. voice. Because um, we see a lot of people now. Somebody came out today. I posted it on my Instagram page and said... TB Joshua did this to me. So, more people are coming out now because this is giving them a voice and the confidence to come out, to come and voice their, to, to say this is what Share happened to them. And yeah. Which was one of the reasons we were saying people should stop criticizing Busola because once you shame her, you are telling the other persons those not to come her. out. Yeah. But things like this, they are, they are truths that, that are bitter, but they need to be told. Yeah. They need to be told and, and it empowers others to, to live free mm -hmm. because. Any woman keeping that is actually living in a, a form of bondage. Mm -hmm. But speaking out is part of the healing process. So mm -hmm. I'm glad that a lot of people are speaking out. I'm glad that mothers are having these conversations with their daughters. Sisters are having it with their siblings to say, is there anything I should know about? Mm -hmm. And then we saw an article today that says that uh, Buhari has instructed mm -hmm. his aides yeah. 
that they should, you know, the police needs to look into this. Yeah, I think it's the aid to the president on mm -hmm. social media to say, you know what, it's time for the cops to call the gentleman in, gentleman in court, and say, what do you have to say? About yeah, this to question him. He needs to give a statement. Absolutely. So you see how this has gone? It's gone through the hierarchy. Even the government is aware That's of it. The president is aware of it. This is, I mean, I am so, so glad that, you know, this is getting the attention it deserves. It deserves. Yeah. And I hope that this is not going to end there. That, you know, they are going to follow through. And I want, and I, I want these NGOs and all the people that are leading their voice to this cause to organize. Control. Yeah. They need to coordinate this, this protest and organize it in a way that they will get the permit to, to protest and ask and police in a, peaceful in a very peaceful man manner. It's not about violence, Absolutely. it's not about fighting Absolutely. or anything like that. But ne they need to organize this uh, protest on social media, get more and more people to come out and speak. Because if it wasn't for the pressure, you won't step down. It's, got, it's just going to carry. And then you said something about canceling his program that he normally does. Yes, that there's this huge program that he was supposed to do this first week of July. Apparently, it's an annual program that they are doing. And he said, oh, In Koza. Yeah, that he's suspending it. And uh, he wouldn't want the visitors to be embarrassed on their way. The visitors are aware where everybody is. It's on CNN. This one, you cannot sweep under the rug. Everybody is aware. And it will even be a shame and complete disregard for the word of God or for people's feeling to go ahead with the program. So I'm glad that he was sensible enough or the church leadership was was sensible enough to say, you know what, we need to suspend that program. So this is not time to program. Let's not deceive ourselves. Which program? This what is are they time programming? to clean inward, to look inward and do a reflection and say, we need to do some deep cleaning. Okay. Now, what about the other pastors? The other pastors, because they've mentioned other pastor pastors. Wale. Pastor Wale. Pastor, what's the other one? The one Foley, in Lagos. Is it Foley or? I, can't remember I don't know what his name, name is. The, for La the Koza Lagos. Yeah, Lagos that the, the names I've mentioned. Have we heard anything from them or even from the church itself? Or the council of elders, or whatever it is that they have, that is some sort of authority in the church, Khan, leadership in church. Khan did bring out a statement, and they said they are going to direct the appropriate authority, which I think is a PFN and Pentecostal mm -hmm. Fellowship to mm -hmm. do an investigation. So I want to believe. I just want to believe in my heart that something is being done behind the scene. Of course, we don't expect them to come out and announce at this point, this is what we are doing. I want to believe that PFN will be calling those other pastors because these are witnesses. Did Busola ever share things like this with mm -hmm. you? Did, did I say share it with you? Did, did because it's the same pastor that I said she shared with. She shared with. <laughs> yeah. And they didn't do anything. What did you do about it? Did you know anything about this? And then maybe over time we'll hear the outcome of the investigation. And I'm so glad that some prominent people are actually coming out to say, you know what? We are leaving this church. Yeah. This is I a serious that. allegation. The last time it happened, you didn't say anything. You did not address it. And we had to deal with it ourselves. And now another serious allegation has happened. I'm sorry. Staying in this in Koza means that you know I'm supporting you. And I'm because silence, you. silence is 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 is, is consent. Silence is basically saying, Oh, it's okay. Yeah. So people are actually coming out to say, you know, this is not alright, and I'm moving on. And I'm so so glad that people are really taking this serious. And I pray it doesn't die, just die, just like things we normally do. And I think this is what he was counting on that. You know, Two or three days, this so will be over. Die down just like the last and there will be business as usual. And I think believers, even for those of us that say we are Christians, we need to get to that point to be able to separate the word of God from somebody that is supposed to be a pastor engaging in acts like this that bring shame and dishonor to the name of God. Yeah. And until we are able to say, look, my saying no, my saying what this person has done is wrong does not mean I'm not a Christian. It doesn't mean I'm joining the enemy to fight because the some of us are not able to, to detach, detach, yes, detach themselves say, oh, from the man, like, I mean, from the, the faith. Yeah. This is like I mean the devil. This is mm. like this is not this is not a time to call the elders. That time has passed. Mm. If this if this continues and we we don't know at this point, but what we've been hearing is that this is a pattern. It's not like it has stopped. Yeah. So. It's time to speak out. Yeah. And, and I hope that people will be able to say, you know what? My speaking out doesn't mean that I don't believe it. Oh, I'm not a Christian I'm anymore. Not a Christian oh, anymore. I'm rising Absolutely. against Christianity. Absolutely. We are all Christians. We all love Absolutely God. Not. We believe in God, but He is a man. And yeah. He is not the face of Christianity. Absolutely. Uh -huh. So He doesn't have anything to do. And lastly, before we end this video, yeah, I want, I want us to talk about women and pastors. Yeah. Because another woman has come out again to say T.B. Yeah. Joshua did something to her. Yeah. 
What is it about women and pastors or women and religion? Why is it that 90% of, of women are made up in most churches and it's always women that, you know, put themselves in this very vulnerable position and it's women that are always exposing themselves and their children to this? Why? Um, you know what? Uh, the way we are wired, the way God has wired us, we are starting again. Come again. The way women are wired, we are wired to be emotional, we are wired to be in relationship. So even the time that Jesus was around, you see that there are a couple of women in his ministry too. Mm. So it's not out of place to find women. It's easy for women to believe, it's easy for women to trust and then bring their family along. So um, it's just that they take advantage of women. They take advantage of our relationship. They take advantage of our trusting. A man will doubt before they believe. Mm -hmm. But a woman will just go with her heart. This mm -hmm. is who we are. Mm -hmm. And then they take advantage. So the blame still goes to the men who are taking advantage of these women that are coming to seek God. But then again, we make a mistake back home, even here, all over the world actually, it's just more prevalent in Nigeria. We are, we put our attention on seeking the man of God mm -hmm. rather than seeking the God of that man. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we misplace it and we, we unknowingly we start worshipping this man mm -hmm. and thinking that he's infallible. Yeah. And then knowingly or unknowingly put ourselves in that position. Because I see a lot of posts coming out and most of them put out by women saying, I stand with him. Yeah. I mm -hmm. stand with the other factory, yeah. but he's my pastor any yeah. day, any time. Nobody can bring you down. Women. Without even listening. Yeah. Some of them haven't seen the video, Bridget. I'm not They're making the case for them. They have seen if it. If you listen at, to Busola's video and you still say you they don't see believe it. Her, they see it. They've seen it. Maybe something Let me tell you something. No matter what they see that this Biodun has okay. done, they will still believe him. Yeah. <laughs> because they've come to that place where they see him as Jesus Do Christ's no assistant. Do no wrong. He's the yeah. one that is the, he's Jesus Christ's assistant. I get you. So without him, they can't get to Jesus. Women need to just... Worship God. Don't worship pastors, for goodness sake. Absolutely. Absolutely. And our men too, because he also has men standing by him. Our men too, our women, believers generally need to redefine what it is, what is it to be a Christian? What does God expect you? Because even the Bible has said it, that many are going to come in his name. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. he said they shout my name, but their heart is far from me. Oh, Jesus yes. himself said it. Yeah. So, we now begin to analyze that somebody can preach very well, somebody can quote his eloquent. Very, it, very flashy. It mean that that person he can dress very well. Relationship with I feel like some of these women are even half in love with these pastors because when they see them, the way they will be idolizing them is maybe they are not like their husbands. I don't know. But women idolize Jesus. A woman broke a jar of her and used her hair to clean Jesus. So it's not today. He didn't take advantage of the woman. Yeah. So the honors you are in a position of trust, the onus is still on you to honor the, the responsibility that comes with your position mm -hmm. as a pastor in the yeah. church. Yeah, I'm just going to say that any woman that is putting a post on social media and trying to silence, you know, Busola, Busola and any other woman that is trying to speak out, you are a woman, no, yeah, you are a woman. Children. Think twice before you start defending pastor. Indefensible. This is not about the pastor. It's about the man yeah. and what he has done or what he ha has been accused of doing. So all of you that are supporting evil, continue because what goes around comes around. If you allow you evil to try... the pastor and mm. call out what your pastor has done is wrong. Like, you love your child, but when your child does something wrong, you are saying, on this, no, I can't support you. This is wrong. It doesn't mean that... You should not say, oh, I'm blind to anything that no, you they say. Are. No, they are. Most people yeah. are, well, sadly. No. Yeah, anyway, so we're just going to end it here by saying that uh, I think this is a very, very good move. Positive development. Every man of God or everyone who claims to be a pastor in Nigeria now Maybe. will be sitting up and sitting tight. They are going to start counting their sins now, those who have skeleton in their cupboard, mm -hmm. and they will know that the day of reckoning is coming. Do you know what I believe? I believe strongly that judgment has come to the church. Hopefully. And God is going to expose everybody that is hiding, that is doing evil to hide under that umbrella. You know, to say I'm a pastor, I'm a man of God, I'm, I'm an imam, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a lecturer, whatever position yeah. of trust or authority that you hold. If you hide, eh? The judgment of God is coming and it will start in the church. And it's about time. Yeah. It's about time. Yeah. It's about time. And yeah. Again, we stand with Busola. We are happy she shared her story. She's courageous. And we are still encouraging every woman out there, every girl out there. It's no blaming, no shaming. Please share your story and don't listen to the noise. People are going to say whatever they want to say, but just share your story and get that help that you need because you need help. 
So we're just gonna leave it here. Thank you very much. Moji Shalara me. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.